Artificial intelligence is transforming industries from one to another, but access to this technology has been limited by high costs and technical expertise. GPU VRAM is an important consideration factor for AI applications. However, consumer GPU price has been skyrocketing while lacking behind in VRAM amount. In 2022, you need to wait in a queue and spend over $1,500 on a GPU with only 12 gigabytes of VRAM. In 2023, the situation has not been improved much. We see that the demanding of GPUs has been skyrocketing. We see NVIDIA has reached the $1 trillion market cap and becomes the world's largest chip company. We also see that the inflation and the interest rates have been skyrocketing. How can we enable everyone to enjoy the wonderful technology of AI without breaking the bank? To democratize AI, we need both low-cost consumer hardware and smart design software. Today, I'm excited to share one such hardware. Introducing the ultimate starter hardware for everyone, the AMD APU. What are APUs? AMD Accelerated Processing Units is a series of 64-bit microprocessors from AMD, combining a general-purpose AMD 64 central processing unit and a 3D integrated graphic processing unit on a single die. There are several such hardware chips you can purchase today. The least expensive one is 4600G or 95 US dollar product as of today. A slightly more expensive one is 5600G, which costs 127 US dollars. You can get both CPU and the GPU in one product. The best part is that the GPU can be turned into a 16 gigabytes VRAM GPU thanks to the software developed by AMD and the open source communities. I bought and tested the 4600G and 5600G APU. Here are the highlights of the APU machine. Firstly, it's about the price tag. Total system costs can be as low as 400 US dollars for all brand new components. It's a very simple build, including APU, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, AM4 motherboard, M2 SSD drive, and a power supply unit, which can be less if you go to the used PC marketplace. Secondly, about the power consumption, I used the uh, Waterman to measure the power consumption, which gives around uh, 66 watts for idle system. If using 99% of the GPU, it's around uh, 96 watts. Let's do a quick math on the operation cost. We assume 70 watts for 5 hours a day, so it will be 0.35 kilowatts hour per day. And uh, the electricity cost about uh, 23 cents for each kilowatt hour in US, so it costs about uh, 2.4 US dollars for a month. That's about uh, 30 US dollars for a year. Thirdly, it's about the software. It can run lots of softwares. It can run the mainstream machine learning frameworks such as PyTorch and TensorFlow smoothly thanks to ROCKM by AMD and by the Linux operating systems. Here is an incomplete list of the applications that I have tested using the machine. These are some of the state-of-art AI applications. 
if you have watched the videos from my channel previously, you may be familiar with that. If not, please uh, go find some videos for those. First one is the stable diffusion, which can turn text into image using command line. The second one is web UI, that's for stable diffusion. It can able to run large language models like uh, fast chat, which use Llama from Facebook. It can also run mini GPT-4. It can even do fine tuning for large language models. And uh, it will also able to do automatic uh, speech recognition, can turn speech into text last but not least, because uh, the APU contain a CPU. The CPU can be used uh, to run large language model also. The fourth highlight is future expandability. In order to upgrade to a more powerful discrete GPU, there is no need to replace any existing components. You would uh, simply buy a discrete GPU and install it. That makes it uh, very easy for future upgrade. Here is a demo of running stable diffusion using command line. This is the CPU and the GPU list. As you can see, the GPU has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. The script I'm using is similar to my previous video. I'm using the wife diffusion, stable diffusion model. So let's uh, see like how it uh, performs. We see that uh, it took about uh, two minutes to generate uh, one image. I think that is better than some of the top end CPUs, which cost uh, over 300 US dollars. Also, due to the large VRAM, it can beat uh, some discrete uh, GPU with a smaller VRAM, for example, 3080 Ti or 4070. Here is the second uh, demo that's uh, running stable diffusion using automatic uh, web UI. The machine environment is the, exactly the same as shown previously.
That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoy it. If you would like, please share the video and the channel to your friends and the social media. My goal is to make AI available to everyone using low-cost hardware and designed specifically for AI softwares. Please also donate. I will use all the donation to help people to get access to AI. You can buy Super Thanks right here on YouTube or please use my link to Ko-fi and Patreon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.